सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्ट्रीम फंक्शन एंड वॉट आर द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज दैट द स्ट्रीम फंक्शन फॉलोस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व टू और थ्री क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू स्ट्रीम टू स्ट्रीम फंक्शन फ्रॉम द गेट एग्जामिनेशन सो वन वन सच क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट एग्जामिनेशन इज गिवन ऑन द बोर्ड एंड आई थिंक दैट Uh, this question has not only appeared in mechanical engineering, but a very similar question has appeared in civil engineering also. Okay, so question is given as the stream function for a two-dimensional flow is given by psi is equal to two x y. So for a two-dimensional flow field, they have already given us that what is the stream function. What is the ma the magnitude of velocity at two comma two is given as. and these are the options 4 root 2 4 2 root 2 and root 2 so basically what they have given us they have given us the stream function and at a particular point given by 2 comma 2 they want us to find out the magnitude of the velocity so let us solve this question so this question can be solved by definition of stream function only and if you remember the stream function is a scalar function such that del psi by del x is equal to negative of v and Del psi by del y is equal to u. So what is u and v? U are the u and v are the velocity components along x and y direction. Now look, psi equal to two x y is already given to us. So from this we are we can we can derive the functions of velocity, the fun the value of v as function of x and y, right? We can derive the value of u as function of x and y. And once the value of velocity components are known, the ma magnitude of total velocity, resultant velocity, is simply equal to under root of u square plus small v square, right? So let us first of all find out what is u. If we uh, if we can see u is equal to del psi by del y, and this simply means this simply means that u is equal to U is equal to del psi by del y equal to two of x, right? So at point two comma two, u is equal to two into x, which is two. That is four meter per second. So x component of velocity, resultant velocity is equal to four meter per second, right? Similarly, if we want to find out v, v is equal to V is equal to minus of del psi by del x. So while partially differentiating with with respect to x, what we get? We get minus two of y. Now we want this velocity component at two comma two. So this becomes minus of two into y, which is again two. So this becomes minus four, right? So u component of velocity is four. V component of velocity is minus four. So resultant velocity, which is equal to the magnitude of resultant velocity, which is equal to Magnitude of the vector u i cap plus small v j cap, right? So this becomes 4 i cap minus 4 j cap, and the corresponding magnitude becomes under root of u square, which is 16 plus minus of 4 square, which is again 16. So that becomes 4 root 2. Hence, the correct answer is option A. Okay. So a very simple question, very easy to solve. Directly solve from the definition of stream functions. So here there is another question from uh, gate examination for mechanical engineering, and this question says that the x component of velocity for two-dimensional flow of an incompressible fluid is given by u is equal to y square plus 4xy. So basically, what they are saying is. That for the velocity vector of the flow field, the x component, which is small u, is given as this. Now they are also saying that the flow, that the fluid is incompressible. So remember, whenever the fluid is incompressible, we can define stream functions. This is what was the mathematical postulation of Lagrangian, right? And since we are talking of two-dimensional flow, we can simply say del psi by del x is equal to minus v, and del psi by del y is equal to u, right? Now they are saying that if the y component of velocity, which is small v, at y equal to zero is zero, then what is the expression for v? Okay. See, uh, in this case, we can solve this question directly by continuity equation also. But here I will solve it by stream function. So if you remember, u is given to us and del psi by del y is equal to u. Now from this. By partially integrating u with respect to y, I can get the value function of psi, and from psi, I will try to find out v by differentiating it with respect to x. Okay, so in this way, I can calculate, uh, I can derive the expression of y. So let us try to solve this question. 
So in the question it is given to us that u is equal to y square plus 4xy and the value of small v when y is equal to 0 is 0, right? Now, please remember the definition of stream function. So from the de mathematical definition, u that is del psi by del y, it is equal to y square plus 4xy, right? So let us write this equation like this. Del psi by del y is equal to y square plus 4xy and let us take this del y on the other side, okay? So partially integrating it with respect to y, what we will get is we will get psi is equal to y square plus 4x. See, y square becomes y cube by 3, right? y square becomes y cube by 3 and 4x becomes plus 4xy square by 2. So 4 by 2 is 2, right? So this becomes 2xy square plus some constant of integration, right? So this is the uh, this is the actual function of psi, right? Uh, however, please remember one thing. We are integrating this partially with respect to y, am I right? So instead of this constant, what we will write, we will write here some function of x. Why some function of x? Because when I will differentiate this last equation with respect to y, this function of x, partial differential of this function of x with respect to y will become 0, right? So we have to write it like this, g as a function of x, okay? Now we have got the expression of psi. Basically, uh, let us write down the uh, expression of V from this equation. But please note that G is still unknown, right? So, uh, if I want to write down psi, what I will do, I will write it as minus of del psi by del x, right? So, differentiating it once with respect to uh, x, so differentiating it with respect to x, minus del psi by del x is equal to V, so this becomes minus of del psi by del x. So this is y cube by 3. It is going to be 0. This will become 2xy square. So minus 2x, y, minus 2y square, right? Plus, minus, minus partial derivative of g of x with respect to x, right? So this is what is the expression of v. But in this, we need to solve g, okay? Now please see that they have given us a condition that at y equal to 0, the velocity vector v, velocity component small v is going to be 0. So whatever may be the value of x, small v is going to be 0, right? Now if I put y as 0, if I put y as 0, v of y equal to 0 is equal to 0, equal to minus of, minus of 0, minus of del g of x by del x, del g of x by del x, right? So from this what we get? Partial derivative of g of x with respect to x is 0. This means g of x is going to be a some, is going to be some constant, right? So what we can do is instead of this g of x, we can simply write a constant here, okay? We can simply write a constant here and our final equation of v becomes, our final equation of v becomes simply minus of 2y square, right? So the correct answer is option C. I hope this uh, solution is clear to everyone. So let us solve one more question from the gate examination. And this particular question I have taken from the civil question bank. However, similar questions appear in mechanical engineering also. Please remember stream function is not only important to mechanical engineering, but it is also important to civil engineering as well. Okay. So the question is something like this. For a two-dimensional flow field, the stream function is given as psi equal to 3 by 2, y square minus x square. Okay. And the magnitude that the magnitude of discharge between two streamlines passing through points A and B is, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, I write, uh, I forgot to write down the coordinates of the point which are given in the question only. And the coordinates are something like this. A is 0, 3 and B is 3, 4. So what they are asking is that let us suppose there are two points A and B given by these coordinates and two streamlines are passing through these coordinates. Then what is the value of discharge between these two streamlines, okay? Now please remember, it is already given to us that the flow is two-dimensional and the corresponding stream function is this. So for solving this problem, what we need is we need one of the properties of stream function. And if you remember, I told you that the difference of stream function values of two streamlines is equal to discharge between the two streamlines. So if we are able to make out that what is the value of psi b, what is the value of psi a, then psi b minus psi a or 
psi A minus psi B is equal to discharge. Please remember that when we are talking of the magnitude of discharge, the this uh, psi B minus psi A or psi A minus psi B, the negative sign is of no concern. Okay. So let us find out these string function values. So psi is already given to us and the coordinates of the two point are also given. So A is 0, 3. Therefore, the stream function value for the streamline passing through A is simply 3 by 2 y square minus x square where y is 3 that is 3 square is 9 minus x square which is 0 right so this becomes 3 by 2 into 9 so it, it is simply 27 by 2 therefore stream function value for streamline A is 27 by 2 okay similarly the value of psi b can be written as 3 by 2 y square which is 4 so 4 square that is 16 minus 3 square x square that is 9 that is 9 okay so this becomes 16 minus 9 so that is 7 7 into 3 is 21 so it is 21 by 2 right so discharge Discharge per unit width of the flow field is simply given as psi b minus psi a. So it is 21 by 2 minus 27 by 2 equal to minus 6 by 2. That is minus 3. Okay. So do not get concerned about the negative sign because we are talking of the discharge. Though negative signs gives us, a negative or positive sign gives us the actual direction of the discharge. Okay. So discharge value is 3 units. So correct answer is option B. Okay. So that's all for today. And uh, these uh, these two videos together give an idea what is stream function and also give an idea that what can be the possibility of different types of uh, numericals in gate examination. However, there is there are one or two more different varieties also, but those are also related to the same properties that we have discussed.